Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in the Labarcatory. And today, my friends, we are getting ready for another fantastic alliteration crossbreed, which other than, you know, crossbreeding with spots happens to be one of my favorite types of crossbreeds. I mean, alliteration is just so exciting. The tongue twister, Sally sells seashells by the seashore, trying to put all of those words that have the same starting letter in front of each other really can make for some fun times and believe it or not if you look carefully through so many of our pixel biology adventures you will find a lot of opportunities for alliteration this time we are actually going to be using that grammatical trick to go ahead and crossbreed a cheetah with a chihuahua <laughs> Look at how cute this little chihuahua is. Oh, you guys. So we are back in the lab. I hope you guys are ready to put on your safety goggles and don your lab coats because today we are going to be mixing the genes of a beautiful cheetah named Isle right over here as she is currently visiting from the Sahula Sand Safari in our Planet Zoo adventures. We're just giving her a bit of a checkup, taking a little pinch of her DNA, and we are going to be mixing it with the Chihuahua Casa! And look at little Casa! Casa is a vocal, very energetic, and a very hungry little Chihuahua that will do absolutely anything for a dog treat, including be carried in by one of you guys. And if you have a Chihuahua at home or happen to know somebody who has a Chihuahua, definitely speak up in the comment section so that you can claim Casa. But one of you guys are going to be bringing in little Casa for a checkup today. And don't worry, we're just going to take a little pinch of their DNA as well, mix and match it, and create some curious crossbreeds in our Petri Dish puppies. So I'm really excited to get started. As usual, my friends, do leave your comments down below if you would like to become one of our curious crossbreeds or if you have some great crossbreed suggestions. This was actually a really cool suggestion from last time where we were going to crossbreed a cheetah and a raccoon dog or a tanuki, but unfortunately the tanuki has currently escaped and is crawling through the ductwork. There's no reason to worry about that, but hopefully we will catch the tanuki and have a really fun crossbreeding challenge with them next time. So if you guys happen to have any ideas of what you would crossbreed with a tanuki, do let me know. I think that'd be really fun. I kind of feel like maybe just like a cat? It might be fun to do a raccoon and a cat mix again. It's been a while since we've done that. But anyway, let's focus on the project that's currently at hand. And we're going to take these spotty spotty chia jeans, these adorable tiny chihuahua jeans, and see what we get. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are ready to go ahead and take your notes. We more research into genetics and biology since Niche is going to be returning any minute now. And let me pull up the random comment generator to pluck your guys' names from the random comments from our previous videos. And I would like to introduce all of you guys to... Lilo! And Lilo, you look amazingly normal. I was like braced. I was ready. I was like, we're going to have like an apple-headed cheetah spotted chihuahua we're going to have like really mismatched proportions with this big cheetah head on like this gigantic big cheetah or, or like big cheetah head on tiny chihuahua body or big chihuahua head on a large cheetah body but actually little lilo you look very normal very normal like any little pup that you might just pluck up from the puppy play yard and lilo you are actually a stubborn hunter who is a sleuth and that sleuth and hunter and even that stubbornness trait are all going to combine to mean that you're probably going to be excellent at being able to find your own way to whatever treats you need but all right let's go ahead and scoop her up one of you guys are going to go play with lilo out in the puppy play yard while we get ready for the next petri dish puppy let's go ahead and get those jeans mixed up again comment generator and then right over here we're actually going to have Oh, Lazy! Lazy, look at you! You've got one cheetah eye and one chihuahua eye. Really cute little cheetah ears. Oh, and you've got the big tail. I can't wait to see if these are going to be big dogs or small dogs when they grow up. This is going to be really fun. But this is going to be Lazy. Welcome, welcome. 
And Lazy, you cannot produce dairy. We're gonna go ahead and just pluck that gene out and try, look, hey, you guys, come on, look. If you wanna do some crossbreeds with cows or sheep or other things that produce milk, like goats, then we can definitely do that. But do please leave it out of the cheetah genes. I'm, I'm not asking for a lot here. We just need to be patient with the like gives wool and gives milk gene. And we need to be patient with that whole gene that gives the dragon tail. We'll probably do some dragon. What did I just tell you guys about putting the dairy gene back in there? There we go. Now we have a lazy, you're actually a couch potato. <laughs> wow, the odds of being able to pull that off. Okay, that's really cute. We have an adventurous sleuth who is a couch potato with a little lazy here. That is so adorable. And neither Lazy or Lilo had suggestions for crossbreeds, but you guys are always welcome to go ahead and leave your crossbreed suggestions in our video comments. And let's go ahead. And then we're going to combine it to get... Doggo! Oh, look at that! Like Dalmatian spots! So not quite cheetah spots, but little Dalmatian spots on Doggo Dog, which is a really adorable name. Oh my gosh. So Doggo Dog... Why not? I, I kind of low-key would love when I worked at, I used to work at a pet store and I just love the idea if somebody walked in to get one of those engraved um, little, uh, what do you call them again? Like the tags, the pet tags. We had an engraving machine, which was extremely expensive to get, I learned, um, but it would engrave pet tags for people and I would help them set it up sometimes. And if somebody had come in to get a engraved tag for their dog, Doggo Dog, I, I would have had to like find some treats or something to offer that dog because that is just such an epic name. What did I just tell you guys about the produced dairy? Look, we can work with a cow soon, I promise. All right, there we go. So Doggo Dog, you are a stubborn, independent, but friendly puppers who looks like you're going to have the cheetah ears and an adorable, cute little tail. Is that the chihuahua tail? Yep, sure enough, it looks like you've got the chihuahua tail that you're going to show off. I can't wait to see what you look like when you grow up. Oh, let's go ahead and see who the next mix is going to be. And we'll... Oh, that's a cute puppy! <gasps> what kind of dogs have this coloration? Oh my gosh! We need to try to get some of these cute puppies in our lab. This is adorable! But alright, Casa, you and Isle are going to have your jeans mixed in another Petri dish pump. Oh, hey! And it's more spots! We kind of got dalmatian -y spots going on over here. Probably pulling in those cheetah spots from Isle. And this is actually going to be Hail. I love that name. Very weather-esque. I think we had a puppy named Hail in our Wolf Quest adventures once. And Hail is going to be a loyal, friendly, adventurous little cheetah pup. Who is uh, going to have those big chihuahua ears and the chihuahua tail. So it's going to be really interesting to see what size you're going to become when you grow up. Oh, welcome! And you too! Like, wow, you guys are very patient. No suggestions from any of you guys who have been picked just yet. And we're gonna pull in the next one. Let's go ahead and see. Next Petri dish puppy is going to be... Oh, look at this little one! This is one of the uncommon colors that you can actually find chihuahuas in. And this is actually going to be Bailey! And Bailey, thank you so much for saying that you enjoyed the stories that we often have with our mixes. Right now, I'm just kind of in the mood to come into the lab and, you know, put on the lab coat, take out my wonderful to-do list, and just see where our genetic mixes go. But trust me, when we start working with some of our other mixes, especially the mythological ones, the stories will return. All right, and Bailey, you're actually a troublemaker who is very smart, so you're probably constantly trying to find the treats wherever they might be, and very playful too. Aww, I love that. All right, let's go ahead and get the last little Petri dish pup up. I wonder if we come from the cheetah side. We haven't ended up with like any cheetah coloring on any of them, so I'm kind of wondering if we should do another cheetah mix because I really want to see spots. I can't help it. I'm just really addicted to being able to admire spots. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, that's a pretty one. And this one's going to be... <gasps> yes! We have those cheetah spots! And is it... Mm, do my eyes deceive me or is that going to be a very, very big chihuahua head? Oh my goodness. Okay, and this one is going to be Aerie. Aerie, welcome, welcome. 
Let's go ahead and see what kind of a wonderful petri dish puppy you're going to be. Oh, aggressive! You know, that's probably very important so that you can find your prey and whatever else you might be pursuing. And you're also going to be a couch potato. So we really ended up with a lot of adorable couch potatoes who just kind of want to, oh, that's so cute. I just really want to play with this little puppy. Uh, who are all going to just relax in the sunlight. And that is actually what a lot of the big cat species do. And did you guys know that one of the reasons that the cat species actually spend so much time sleeping is that it is extremely difficult, even for their specialized carnivore gut systems, to process the protein and the meat that they eat. They don't really get as much nutrients as you get if you had like a diverse plant diet when they eat the meat. And so the carnivores, like the big cats, have to sleep not only to recover the energy that they used and expended in trying to defend territory and find mates and especially in hunting, but they have to sleep so much so that they can try to process, not very well either, all of that meat that they eat. You know the way that a panda has to eat so much bamboo because they don't really get a lot of nutrients from the bamboo, so they have to eat a ton of it in order to get enough energy? Same with koalas, have to eat a ton of their food just to get a little bit of energy. It's actually the same with the predators, like the big cat species. They really struggle to digest all of the meat that they eat as and like as other species could get the most out of their food so they have to sleep that much not only so that they can just like physically recover from chasing things but also so that their digestive system can work on breaking down all of that meat unfortunately not super efficiently and then that's why they sleep for more than half the day so there's a little fun fact just tossed in there because oh gosh i love science Man, and I miss telling you guys all these cool biology facts too. Huh. Just wait, we're gonna be out in the field and playing in our wonderful planet zoo zoos in no time. But all right, let's go ahead and grow up these Petri dish puppies and see if they're going to look more like Isle, their beautiful cheetah mother, or like the very adorable and constantly searching for treats a little Chihuahua Casa. Lilo, you're up first. I think you've got like more of a cheetah face, but... Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how did you end up with a cow tail? What did I tell you guys about putting in the, the cow genes while we are trying to create a Chihuahua Cheetah crossbreed? Uh, you know what? I'll let it stay because Lilo, that actually is an adorable tail on you. But we have a little Lilo. Totally looks like a Chihuahua other than the cow tail. I don't know which one of you guys did it, but you know, you could raise your hands in the comments if you want to take the blame. Okay, so Lilo looking like a chihuahua. Note, let's check that off on our little sheet. And then let's go ahead and see what lazy, the actually lazy little chihuahua cheetah mix looks like. What did I tell you guys about the dragon tails? Oh my gosh, you guys, come on. Look, we'll be working with dragons in the near future. But Lazy, look at you! This is more what I thought we were going to get when we started mixing Chihuahua and a cheetah. Oh my goodness gracious, your face, Lazy! Well, you know, again, definitely wouldn't guess Chihuahua in your history, but also would not guess Cheetah either. This is a very interesting mix. I almost feel like I would be more like Pit with a lot of question marks after it if I had to guess the, the breed of this one. But those ears really give it away more than anything. Lazy, excellent, excellent. I hope you can find a nice sunny spot to go ahead and rest in the puppy play yard. And then let's go see, ahead and see what Doggo Dog has when you grow up, my friend. <coughs> Doggo Dog! Oh my gosh, I love that face! I love the ears! Oh man, this is like one of those dogs I really want to show up in my Sims 4 Legacies. You're so nice. Look at you. All right, this was definitely an excellent mix. I didn't expect something so gentle between a Chihuahua and a Cheetah either. But Doggo Dog, A plus, A plus dog skills. But I like how there's just a little hint of the feline around your face. That's really excellent. Hale, you're up next, my friend. Tiny. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Okay, I was about to chant tiny, 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 hoping that we'd have a tiny little spotted thing. But instead, Hale actually ended up quite big. You know what, Hale? You're adorable. I kind of want one of my witches to adopt you in our Sims 4 adventures, because there's just something about your face. 
I love it. I love your face. And I love how that tail is just whacking behind these huge ears. Oh, see, hail would bring a smile to anybody's face. And Bailey, you're up next, my friend. Big or small, it's up to you to decide. Oh, tiny. Oh, and look at that. We actually have kind of an evening out of the face and the ears from mixing the chihuahua and the cheetah. I would guess like... A, a totally different breed. I would, I might kind of think that Chihuahua because of the coloring, but really there's nothing about you that says cheetah to me. Very nice, very nice. We'll have to take note that this particular mix seems to really veer one side or the other until we get to Eri. Eri, the only one to inherit the cheetah spots and dots. <gasps> yes! Okay. Okay. I don't know what I wanted, really, if I search my heart by mixing a cheetah and chihuahua, but you know what? This, this'll do. This'll definitely do. All right, my friends, there you have it. We actually have a chihuahua spotted, ch or a cheetah spotted chihuahua. <laughs> and again, I, I don't think this is what I was really going for, but we definitely got a perfect blend of the two. So I would call this particular experiment a success. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful little mixes. Let me know who is your favorite in the bunch. And if you could leave lots of suggestions for both names and future crossbreeds, drop them down in the comments below. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, don't forget to pet all these cute puppies and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.